Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! Before reporting back to the Commander, let's check out the shop they got here. Huh, I, I guess Laguna's not very popular around here. He just won't stop talking! But anyway, we've got some money with Laguna, so let's purchase some stuff. Let's get, uh, three tents. I think that's the best way to spend it. Maybe some potions if you, uh, don't want to use Kiragas to heal up all the time. And I checked it out. None of the houses are interesting here. Now, someone was telling me, check out the path to the right over there. Hmm? What's going on? Oh, okay, I guess we gotta... I guess we have to take the other path back. The fairies. Freaking fairies. <laughs> eh, I just thought I'd show that off. Little piece of dialogue you get. Oh, and they got chocobos. Caution chocobos. What are they gonna do? Uh, take a dump right in the road in front of me? What you call this fang? Uh, okay. Oh yeah, there was that magazine. Well, if you call killing people everywhere around the world traveling, sure, why not? Alright! Looks like we got a nice gig lined up for us. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk back on screen because, well, it's not that far and you get a little piece of dialogue here and there. So, give a little background on what Laguna's up to. And there's just a flower shop to the left there, nothing interesting. Yeah, the monsters here are a whole lot easier than those SR soldiers. Yeah, really. I mean, this is a nice little out-of-the-way town with nice little scenery and everything like that. They gotta have more towns like this, you know? Towns in RPGs that, you know, just aren't really relevant to the plot. They're just kind of out there, in the way, adding more depth and exploration to the world and everything. Not that Final Fantasy XIII is a bad game because it doesn't do that. I'm just saying that I prefer to have the exploration like this. Or in RPGs like that. Like the Dragon Quest games do, or at least the early ones that I've played. I've only played the first four, so... A Sorceress Adele? Huh. I guess there's more than one sorceress going on here? I know what's going on, but... Huh, they're looking for a successor. Why do they think alone could be a successor? Huh. Well, we'll get more information about that later, but I'm just playing dumb for right now so I don't spoil the plot for you guys. And I don't think we can go into any of the houses here right now. Hmm. Yeah, or, or you could just let them maul you for all I care. Apparently this town is in Gabadia territory. But they're just paid to, uh, kill soldiers. But monsters? Oh no, if they start attacking you, uh, you're screwed. Nah, I don't think so. I want to be a writer. Does this music always play in this village? Like, if you really lived in this village, would this music play all the time? I, I would think that would drive you insane after a while, like that one episode of Star Trek Next Generation with, uh, Troy there. That was a horrific episode when you think about it. Oh, yeah, we should get out of here. I mean, it's not like I'm a spy. Or they can't see you. Apparently. Uh, she's just my my caretaker. She is kind of hot, though. In FMV form. <laughs> well, yeah, you gotta put up with him. Uncle Laguna. <laughs> well, he's kind of buff. I mean, he was in the army for all that time. Oh, he's already done enough traveling and killing people. That's okay. I, I think I'm ready to uh, quiet down now. It's been six months. You've had plenty of time to get over him. Or, well, it's been a year, but I suppose. Whatever. Nice cover-up there, Rain. Nice one. 
it's like my my dad always says when children ask you serious questions about life and everything that you, they really shouldn't know the answer to until they're older. Well, always be honest with them, but you don't necessarily need to volunteer details and information. That's the Bailey way. Like, if I ever have little H.C. Baileys running around, and they ask me, Daddy, where do babies come from? From your mommy. Th that's the way Baileys are. You know, we tell, always tell the truth, just, you know, we don't need to volunteer information. <laughs> How many did I kill? Fourteen monsters. Not bad, Laguna. Of course, I had help from Kiros, but, uh, yeah. Where do they get food around here, anyway? I mean, I guess it's in the country, and they kind of have... I guess they might have farmland around here somewhere. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we better, uh, head back to my room, then. Why do you have two beds here if there's only one of you? Oh, well, I suppose alone sleeps here, but... Huh. I thought there was a draw point in one of the cupboards in this village, but maybe that's not until later... Not that I really care, but it was there. I really hope I don't run into monsters on the way back. I just want to finish this up now. I'm done with Laguna. I want to shoot more holes in the wall. No, no, just kidding, viewers. Alright, let's take a little break here then. Uh, Kiros, you get the crib, or the chair, however you want to sleep. You're not sleeping in my bed. I'm the one who's injured for a year. Whoa. It's getting all serious, man. It's the fairies. Don't worry about it, Laguna. But will he wake up in this room? Find out right now. Let's go. Huh? Laguna, did you wake up in your room? Sometimes I think the dream world is the real world and this world is the actual simulacrum. It certainly is. Huh? How could you not have seen him? Oh, he was Ward. Okay. Nuts. Right. Well, Renoa wouldn't know about that, but... Oh, some sort of prison place. Whatever. I'm sure that won't become useful. Actually, I don't think it does. Well, why did he volunteer to work at a prison then? Well, hell if I... Yeah, hell if I know! Well, let's talk to our comrades. Uh, oh, yeah, we're in prison now. So, uh, yeah, well, what did you expect after we... Challenged the sorceress and lost badly. Well, I suppose they. Why would they have brought his corpse here? I don't know. Probably would have just burned it alive or thrown it in a ditch or something. I don't know. Um, I, I suppose so. Okay. Right. Uh, let's see. We are in. Oh, the D District Prison. That is the one that Ward was working at. Okay, yeah, we gotta talk to Renoa twice, I think, in order to advance the dialogue here. But, yeah. Well, why would... Hey, wait a minute. Hey! Oh, right! I know this place! He was Ward in the... in the dream! We didn't see it, but he was Ward in the dream. There's hundreds of rooms like this in the prison, but... Maybe this is the one where he was working at. Maybe we can find him here. Well, yeah, what, what did you expect? You get paid to kill people and no one's going to want to come after you for it? Kind of like a burn notice? Yeah, we've probably gotten our burn notices now. Yeah, what is going to happen to us? How can we break out of here? And what happened to Squall? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off.
Have a good day.